Hello. Time for today's devotion from Journey into Grace. It is called My Will or His and is written by Luisa Reyes and Pill. The key verse is Colossians 1.16. All things were created by him and for him. The devotional reads, If there was one thing that stood out to me when I read Rick Warren's The Purpose Driven Life, it was this. My only purpose is to fulfill God's purpose for me. And what do I mean by this? First, I acknowledge the fact that I am God's creation. I didn't just happen to be or evolve from a substance. I am blessed to be the work of his hands and not some scientist accidental discovery or manipulated laboratory experiment. And like all things created, there are certain attributes that God gave me to make me who I am. And that includes creating me in his own image. Let us make man in our image after our likeness, he said. Genesis 126. Second, there is a specific purpose for me, for my being. God did not randomly put me together. He thought of me and knew me before I was formed to fulfill a mission. And that purpose is made and given to me by God, not dreamed up by me or anyone else. For those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son. Romans 8, 29. Third, my purpose is to worship God as I enjoy fellowship with him. I was made to give pleasure to the Lord in all that I do, to walk with him daily and to honor him through prayers, songs, conversations, decisions, and relationships. That's a 24-7 call. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. 1 Peter 2.9 I was a bit ashamed of myself when I started thinking of the plans I had made for myself. I know that it isn't wrong to have personal goals and ways of achieving them. But I must first ask if these are in line with God's purpose for me. Will they bring him glory and honor? For it's not my will, but his will that is to be done in my life. Am I willing to give up my plans for his? A reflection question. Do you struggle with giving up your plans for God's plans for your life? Let's pray. Oh, Father, how wonderful it is to know that you created us with a purpose. Show us, Father, how we can praise you with our lives. Thank you that all we need to do is surrender to your perfect will so you can work out your purpose for us. Help us to live so that our words and our actions all point back to you and give you glory. And we pray for those doing research as well as those um, working in hospitals, that you would keep them safe and grant them wisdom. And we pray for all essential workers as they um, are out about, that you would um, give them insight in how to best protect themselves, and that even through this time of pandemic, that they would see your presence in their life and draw closer to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a glorious but rainy day if you're in this area because it's a 100% chance of rain. So I think they might get it right.